Gin, absinthe, amaro. Distilled spirits made with botanicals are experiencing a revival among heritage and craft distillers. But what makes these drinks different than vodkas or whiskeys? The most popular botanical spirit is gin. Originally used as a form of herbal medicine in the Middle Ages, gin is now one of the most varied spirits on the market. Juniper berries are the defining ingredient and are what give gin its unique taste. But gins can contain various other botanicals. And for those of you who may have had a gin-cident in the past, get over it. Give gin another try. Absinths are also regaining popularity in recent years. They were previously banned in the U.S. and other countries due to the toxic substance thujone that could be present in the drink. Thujone is derived from wormwood, which is used to make the infamous beverage, but no significant amount of thujone is present after a proper distillation process to be harmful. Alleged hallucinogenic effects may have been due to improper distillation or rumors and myths, or maybe they were consumed in the time when fairies were real. Absinthe is generally made with wormwood, fennel, and anise, and bottled at a high proof. When the moon hits your eyes like a big pizza pie, it's amaro. Another category in the world of botanical spirits is amaro, which is Italian for bitter. These are becoming a popular part of modern cocktail creations. There is a good chance that if there's a spirit listed in a cocktail and you don't know what it is, it's an amaro. These herbal liqueurs are commonly consumed before dinner as an aperitif or after dinner as a digestif. Amari are made by macerating botanicals with a spirit or wine and then sweetened with sugar syrup. These drinks are coming back in style, and you're sure to see more of them in the future. If you've never had one, give them a shot, or sip them slowly. If you'd like to learn more about the wide world of botanicals, visit Moonshine University and take the three-day botanicals workshop.